All right, this is Shui with a review of a pair of Crocs. Yep, Crocs. Uh, I mean, they're usually taken lightly, not really taken seriously. The original ones uh, have been imitated and duplicated to death, and most of them feel more or less the same. Even the original Crocs didn't provide anything spectacular. It was just soft foam rubber, uh, one-piece clog, I guess. They were nice. Um, but this one, called the Light ride foam it's pretty phenomenal it feels like a i don't know what to call it it's it's like the best of what you could find in terms of comfort compared to uh cushioning foams that you have like cloud foam or bounce or luna or react it's it's rubbery and soft but i love it i love this feeling it's got a dual density foam dual carrier i guess so this outer bit is what crocs used to be it's a little stiff but not crazy stiff they were soft on their own but thankfully they're out here to provide some durability at the same time softness but the inner black part the light ride foam is super soft look at that look at that that's so soft and also it's shaped in a in a weird funny way that where it kind of like fits this way so if you don't get a, a right fit, you might actually have your foot kind of scratching towards this and getting blisters. So make sure you try and get the right fit. And if you, it's a, it's a bit of a compromise. You want a tight fit or you want a bit of a loose fit and you might want to use this little fastener to make sure your foot stays and there's no, uh, no friction and abrasion here. Uh, of course, if you wear it with this, it's good to walk around. But once you take, when you're taking them out, you can't just, uh, Pull them out of the the crocs you actually have to try and pull it a little bit and need both hands uh, for a size nine it weighs about 260 grams so it's not crazy light but it's definitely heavier than the typical crocs i suppose this uh, material the the black light ride material is a little bit heavier and also it's dual density and it's thicker so that's why um compared to shoes like uh uh the sketchers hyperburst hyperburst was it what's it called it we had a weird weird arch that was a bit too much for those flat footed even for someone like me with an arch i had an issue with that but this thankfully it's pretty straightforward and overall the foam really forms to your foot nicely uh the, the perforation is a little bit smaller than the typical conventional crocs but it actually works it does not stifle or suffocate you in any way uh, one thing you want to keep in mind when you find the right sizing for your crocs is it because it's built in such a way that it it caters to those with really big toes. And sometimes we have people who have bigger second toes than the big toe. So if you have that form or shape, you might want to uh, check if it works. For me, I have a, a longer second toe, but uh, I went through the size and it f fits fine. So those with a big toe, you might want to go down half a size. It might fit you better, uh, better rather. Um, yeah, um, overall, this is a, it's a nice shoe and sometimes it goes on, on crazy slash discount prices and that's the time to grab them i got them for like more than 50 percent off and i think it's even at its full 100 percent retail price i think this is worth it it's it cost like 50 bucks so definitely worth it in terms of the comfort um the breathability and the softness and also more importantly it does not scratch or scrape you on top of your foot like this little part because most slides have tend to have that issue depending on how it fits to your foot, but you will not have that with this ergonomic design that they have from Crocs.